pelvic nerve and muscle treatments are beneficial for patients who have endometriosis because endometriosis, if you look here at this picture, um, is found in these little crevices, typically in the pelvis, when it's and the most common spot is the pelvis. And so it hides in these little crevices. And here is your pubic symphysis in front and your tailbone in back. And connecting these two is your pelvic floor muscles. So when patients have endometriosis hiding in these little crevices, your pelvic floor muscles, this sling here, goes into a chronic guarding state. And when it does that, it gets clamped down and spastic and it squeezes the different nerves. So the, this is looking up in, your pelvic floor is behind, and these, all these little nerves are squeezed by this chronic guarding that can happen with endometriosis. When these nerves are squeezed, they get inflamed, ischemic, and irritated. They don't have the blood flow and they get irritated and start causing pelvic pain. In addition, endometriosis itself, remember it's found in these little crevices here, is a pro-inflammatory disease. So it spews out pro-inflammatory cytokines and releases them into the pelvis. And when it releases the cytokines that are inflammatory into the pelvis, it releases them also around these nerves here. The two major nerves of the pelvis are the pudendal nerve, which comes here and has three main branches, and the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. Those are the two main nerves that get inflamed from this endometriosis inflammatory process. So between the chronic guarding and the endometriosis itself, these little plaques causing inflammation around the nerves, is it is important for endometriosis patients not to ignore their pelvic nerves and muscles because once they are inflamed and in spasm, they will continue to cause chronic pelvic pain.